Hey guys, welcome to Progress Skill. This is another video of Python course. In this video, I'm gonna explain strings in detail. If you are interested, you can watch the rest of this video. At first, I'm gonna talk about basics of strings. Strings in Python are surrounded with single quotation marks or double quotation marks for example let's create a comment line i can create a string with single quotation mark like this or i can create that with double quotation marks like this hello or hello and i can assign a string to a variable for example let's create a variable called where and i can assign hello to where variable now I can print the variable and let's see the result. And as you can see, hello is printed out onto the screen. So I can create a string and I can assign it to a variable. And strings are like arrays. In order to explain that, I can use double brackets and put a number between these two brackets so in this case I can access third element of the string this is first this is second and this is third element of my string so let's print and as you can see L is printed out onto the screen so I can access different elements by uh, their index and also I can loop through a string you can use for loop for item in where and let's print item let's see the result as you can see h e l l and o are printed out onto the screen and with the use of len function i can measure the length of a string i can use print len function and inside parentheses, I write where. Let's see, five. So five is the length of hello string. And also I can check if there is any special kind of character in a string. Let's see, for example, I can write if h in where print let's change it to h print h exists in where let's see the result as you can see this is true because character h exists in hello string now I want to talk about slicing in a string. You can return a range of characters by using the slice syntax. Let's talk about this. At first, I'm going to specify the start index and then end index, separated by a colon, in order to return a part of the string. Let's consider a variable called b and let's assign hello world string to it. Okay? I'm going to use print function in order to extract some part of this string. So I'm going to type B and with double brackets. At first, I'm going to specify a start index. I'm going to type 3. Then I'm going to put a colon. And I'm going to specify the end index. Let's see the result. L O. So, at first, I'm going to start with 3. 0, 1, 2, 3. So, this is 3. And I'm going to go to 4, which is O, then 5, which is a space. And I'm not going to print 6. So, I start from the start index and I go to end minus 1 index. So, I can change it to 7 and see the result. You see, I can get W, but I'm not going to get 
O because and minus 1 index is the last one. Now I'm gonna slice from the start. How can I do this? Just by leaving out the start index, I can slice from the start. The range will start at the first character. I can leave this out and let's see the result. Hello space W and I'm not gonna print O because index and minus one is printed out and I can slice to the end. How can I do this? Just leave out the end index and I can start from for example four zero one two three four O and I'm gonna print characters from O to the end of string. Let's see the result O space and world and I'm gonna talk about negative indexing. What is negative indexing? In negative indexing I can simply do this minus five colon minus one. So let's see which character is minus one and which character is minus five. In ordinary way I start from H. This is zero index and as I move on they will be counted and increased. 0, 1, 2, 3. But in reverse way, I'm gonna start from minus 1. So the last character, which is D now, is minus 1. This is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5. So I'm gonna start from minus 5, which is W, and I'm gonna go to the end index, but not end, and minus 1. So I'm gonna print W, O, R and L. Let's see the result. As you can see, W O R L is printed out onto the screen. Now I'm gonna talk about changing and modifying a string. Let me tell you, strings are not changeable. You cannot modify a string when you created that. So I'm gonna create a variable A and I'm gonna assign hello world string to that okay now it's not possible to change a string but with some built-in methods in python i can change this string and print it out or save it in another variable at first i'm gonna use upper method i can print a dot upper like this so let's see the result hello world I change all the characters to capital letter but let's see a string is it in capital letter is it changed or not let's see no hello world is not changed and with the use of upper method I can change the string and return another string that I can print or save in another variable. Another method is lower. Let's save this uh, string to be variable like this. And if I type b dot lower, let's see the result hello world but let's print b and see as you can see hello is in capital letter okay another method that i can use is strip method white space is the space before and or after the actual text and very often you want to remove this space so with the use of a strip i can omit spaces which are at the end or at the beginning of my string so let's remove these and i'm gonna put a space here and another one here okay i'm gonna use strip method let's see what's the result hello world with no space and uh, actually I omitted this and this space from beginning and end of my string and also I can replace 
replace, for example, a character or a bunch of character in my string with another character or characters. Let's see. I can use replace method like this. And at first, I'm going to type H E and I'm going to change this to, for example, H E. Okay. Let's see the result. You see, I changed H to uppercase. Also, I can change E to uppercase. Let's see the result. Okay, hello world is printed out onto the screen. And also, I can do another thing, uh, which is splitting. I can split my string into uh, different parts. Let's omit these two. And I can use split. Okay. And I'm going to type space. Okay. The program search my string and when it finds the space, it's going to split my string into two parts and print and save it into a list. Let's see the result. Now I have a list and the list has two elements. First one is hello and second one is world. If I had a comma like this, the string will be split into two parts based on the occurrence place of comma. Let's see. Definitely, that's true. At first I have hello and then I have world. Okay, that's great. And in order to study more about methods, you can go to documentation of Python and search for methods. Is it possible to concatenate two strings? Definitely. We can concatenate two strings, but it's not possible to change one of these strings. We can concatenate both of them or more than two string and save them in another string in another variable for example i have a string called hello and i save that in a variable and in b i have world okay now i can use another variable called c and i can use a plus b in this way, I'm going to concatenate these two strings and save it to C variable. Let's see the result. But there is a simple mistake in my writing. Uh, because there is no space, uh, hello and world will be stick together. Let's see. In order to make them separate or in order to separate them, I can use something like this. Hello world. Okay, now. That's true and perfect. For last part of this video, I'm going to talk about string format. As we learned before, it's not possible to combine a number and a string. Look at this example. I have a variable called age and its value is 40. And I have a txt variable which is equal to a string. My age is okay it's not possible to do something like this i'm going to combine a number and a string and if i use print function to print txt the problem definitely will give me an error look at this can only concatenate str to str so it's not possible. I'm going to tell you a method in Python in order to combine a number and a string. In order to do that, I'm going to use placeholder. This is a placeholder. Okay. And now I can use txt dot format and between parentheses, I'm going to use age. Let's see the result. Perfect my age is 40 so whenever you want to combine a number and a string you're gonna use 
a placeholder and format method. So what should I do if I want to use different placeholders? For example, my age is 40 and my weight is placeholder. I'm going to define another variable called weight. I'm going to set it equal to 89. Okay. And I'm going to put that here. Wait. Let's see the result. Definitely. My age is 40 and my weight is 89. So, with the use of number inside this placeholder, I can define which one of them I can use. If I type 0 and 1, there's no change. But if I use 1, weight will be placed here. And if I use 0, age will be placed here. Let's see. My age is 89 and my weight is 40. They changed. You can use numbers or better to say use indexes in order to define uh, which of variables can be placed in which place. Now this video is over and I hope you enjoyed that. If you have any question you can comment below. I will be happy to answer your question and if you like this video you can like it, share it and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me to improve my community and help you and others to learn Python better. Now I'm going to suggest other videos of my channel that are related to Python course and I think they will be appropriate for you.